Hello and welcome back. Thank you for joining us. I'm Douglas. I'm Alistair. And this is the Highland Hikers. So we are here for the two day intro to winter skills course at Glenmore Lodge near Aviemore. What we're gonna do is show you a bit about the lodge itself, what the facilities are like, and what we're actually gonna be doing on the two day course itself. The intro to winter skills course is very much designed as your first step to enjoying the mountains in winter. It's designed to make you feel confident with the use of ice axe and crampons, as well as winter navigation and how to cope in winter weather. And these skills are quite a bit different to what you might have been accustomed to for summer walking. For full details of the course, please check out the Glenmore Lodge website as this will contain the most up-to-date information. All course bookings include instruction, use of kit, packed lunch, afternoon tea and in-course transport. You'll also be able to select the residential option if you wish. This gives you accommodation at the lodge in an ensuite bedroom, breakfast on each course day, dinner on each course day except the last day, and the use of the facilities at Glenmore Lodge. Alistair and I decided to go for the residential option as it was quite reasonably priced, uh, only being an extra £45 per night when we went, uh, and we figured it would make the whole experience that bit more convenient given there would be no need to worry about finding food and accommodation elsewhere or getting to the lodge each day. If you've selected the residential option, you can check in from 4pm on the day prior to the course starting, so that was the Friday for us. Although please note that dinner is not included on the first night, however the on-site bar serves meals between half five and eight, although we decided to stop for dinner at the Cairngorm Hotel in Aviemore, which is only a short 15 minute drive to Glenmore Lodge from there. The first thing you'll want to do after checking in and finding your room is to head to the store to collect any kit that you might need. Glenmore Lodge supply all the specialist winter equipment that you'll need for the weekend, which is detailed in the what will I need section of the course information. You will however be expected to bring all the other necessary kit for the weekend, which again you can find a full kit list on the course information page. So here we have a brief room tour. This is the main sleeping area. We've got two single beds, um, a single occupancy for ourselves. Uh, Douglas is in his own room, but you can request to share a room if you want. So we've got bed made up and you've got some towels there should you need it. Bedside tables and small desk if you wish it. Also have a small kettle and some tea there and some milk just to get you awake in the morning. Over to the bathroom, you've got a full size shower and sink and soap there if you need it. The bathroom is really decently sized, plenty of room in there if you need it. Wee area for storing your luggage, some boots as well. And as you come in the room, you've got a nice section where you can put your jackets and some other bits. So. I've already got my boots and helmets, crampons and ice axe which I've managed to get from here which uh, Glenmore Lodge have supplied. So. Also small safe at the bottom for your valuables. There's plenty of hangers in there, I appreciate it's quite dark just now but I've got at least about eight that I've got in there. So on the first proper day of the course, you'll have your breakfast in the morning. Once you've had that, you'll then head to the lecture theatre where you'll meet your instructor and the rest of your group. And the ratio is one instructor to six people. Uh, you'll also be introduced to topics such as checking for winter weather forecasts, avalanche awareness and winter kit. Once you've got your group together and everyone has their kit sorted, you'll then be taken up to the mountain to start some practical learning. Unfortunately for us, it had been unusually mild in the lead up to the course, so there wasn't a huge amount of snow on the hills. Uh, we did at least manage to find a few patches, which let us do what we needed to do. We learned skills and techniques such as kicking steps and how to walk with crampons and an ice axe. 
Oh, and of course, the Ice Axe Self Arrest, uh, which is definitely a skill that's fun to learn, but one that you hope you'll never have to use. The skills you learn are primarily designed to prevent you from falling and slipping in the first place. Uh, and finally, <laughs> apologies for the lack of footage from day one. Uh, the weather really was not good for filming at all. It was very wet for most of it, so the, the GoPros were in our rucksacks and uh, yeah, we only got a few clips. So you join us at the time of filming. It is the morning of the second day. We had a wicked a nice day out in the mountain yesterday. It was chucking it down, but I th we all had great fun. But today is a, a good a longer day, isn't it? We're planning on taking in a uh, Cairn Gorm today. Oh, name eluded me there for a second. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yesterday was very much about learning all the different skills that we're going to put into action today. As Alistair says, we're going to do a bit of an actual hike and put those skills to practice. Yeah, and one of the great things about this place is that if you don't have all of that equipment, they can supply an absolute ton of it. So if you don't have winter boots, crampons or a nice axe to start with, you can get them. If you are coming up, bring multiple pairs of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mines are still ringing from yesterday, even though they've been in a drying cover all day. Yeah, there's a massive drying room, but um, if you have something that's completely soaking, it may not dry out by the next day. So yeah, spares of everything, probably yeah. a good idea. We didn't get a chance to do much filming on day one, hoping to do a bit more filming on day two and hopefully take in my 62nd Monroe. Oh excellent, yeah I've uh, been up Cairngorm before did that with uh, Ben McDewey maybe five years ago something like that but that was in the summer so completely different conditions yeah. so looking forward to seeing what it's like in the winter. Yeah, I think the I'm the only person in our group who hasn't <laughs> been up here already so the other thing is if you are coming on this course it is uh, one instructor to six, six people, uh, yeah. people yeah we have five in our group, however, there are, what, uh, 23 in total on the course, but uh, it's, you know, it's quite relaxed, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lot of fun. I think, you know, helped by the fact that other people in our, uh, our team are like, <laughs> quite easy to get along <laughs> yeah. with, really chatty, and just, you know, wanting to have a good time, so it makes such a difference. Absolutely, and uh, I guess we should go and get our bags packed for day two then, because we're meeting the rest of the group in, what, about 25 minutes? Yes, we are, yeah. We've just been walking up from the ski centre and we're now reaching some hard packed snow so it's time to get the crampons and ice axe out so we can uh, continue up the slope towards Cairngorm Summit. What are you doing, you say, Alistair? What the instructor told me to. <laughs> Building a wee ledge to stand on. Effectively, but it's rather, it's rather tough. And this is where the magic happens. <laughs> this is incredible. 
Just on a wee, a wee snow hole just now that was uh, conveniently dug, not by us. No, <laughs> no. Well, this is pretty cool, there's a, there's a raised platform in here, you could go for a wee snooze, but obviously you need to, you know, if temperatures rise or whatever, it could... Uh, yeah, you need to get out of here. ...could uh, collapse down on top of you. Well, that's really cool. There's still a wee bit something about it that doesn't quite sit right with me. Because <laughs> I'm like, how much snow's up here? <laughs> uh, and uh, what's really stopping that from coming down? Yeah, I know overthinking things, but... What do you think? Oh, it's fantastic. How, how's Ronan getting on with our one? He's alright. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you can feel gun. the warmth in there, can't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Slumped a bit. Yeah. So we have finished our debrief for our second day on this winter skills course. I think we're both fairly knackered, but it has been a really, really enjoyable weekend. I have learned an absolute ton. I'm feeling a lot more confident in getting the right equipment and actually knowing how to use it when out in the, the hills in the winter. Um, I don't know about you, I know we talked about it before about having the right gear and actually knowing how to use it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've, I've done some winter walking before. I am um, taught by a friend, but that was kind of informal. So it was good to actually come here and get, you know, trained by qualified mountain leaders yeah. and just sort of useful tips and tricks and stuff like that. And actually getting to come out and practice it. For example, I've, you know, I've, I've walked in crampons before, but I've never had to do a self arrest. So it was good to practice that. You hope it's something you yeah. never have to do, but learning the technique is obviously really good. Um, I thought the Glenmore Lodge was absolutely fantastic. I thought this was a great place yeah. and would recommend it to anyone looking to come and do any sort of uh, training because they do summer stuff as well yeah. and skiing and all, all, all sorts. I certainly thought we were kind of coming to a kind of hostel type place, but rooms are really decent. I would say better than your kind of typical travel lodge. I think that's how <laughs> yeah. it's fair to say. <laughs> um, and the food has been absolutely fantastic as well. Bread, eh, sorry, dinner, breakfast. Uh, the cakes, the absolutely ramy yes, full of cakes. the cakes were good, uh -huh. All the time, cakes to go up the mountain, cake uh -huh. after the mountain. Oh, and don't absolutely. forget the nice bar upstairs as well. Yes, yes. yes, very well stocked with whiskey. Absolutely. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you on another hike.